हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस ओवरहैंगिंग बीम इन अ वेरी सिंपल इन इजी मेथड सो यू विल सी दैट हाउ आई फाइंड आउट द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन हियर फॉर द ए सपोर्ट एंड बी सपोर्ट इन अ वेरी इजी मेथड सो दिस इज अ सिम इज द ओवरहैंगिंग बीम विद द लेंथ हियर ओवरहैंगिंग इज 4 मीटर हियर ओवरहैंगिंग पोर्शन इज आल्सो 4 मीटर and the middle length is a 8 m is a 8 meter which is a simply supported and there is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter acting on this beam so how to solve or how to analyze this overhanging beam it is called overhanging beam because the two hang, there is a hanging portion there is no support provided at this region and also there is no support provided at this region so that's why this beam is known as the overhanging beam So now, how to find out the support reaction? So it is a hinge support, so it will take the vertical load R A, and this is a roll support. It can also take the vertical load R B. This is a hinge support. A is a hinge support, so it can also take the horizontal reaction. But hence, there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. That's why the horizontal component of this support is equal to zero. So we have only to find out R A and R B. So there is a very simple and easy trick to find out the support reaction when you have when you have a symmetrical overhanging beam. By symmetrical, I mean when the load is uniformly distributed and it is only acting on the whole beam, and this length four meter is same to this length. So then you can find the support reaction in a very simple and easy method. Now, how the first step is you to multiply. the uniformly distributed load this is a udl load uniformly distributed load with the whole length of the beam so the first step is multiplying 5 kN per meter this is the load multiplying this load with the total length of the beam the total length of the beam is 4 meter plus 8 meter plus 4 meter so this is the total length of the beam so first you should multiply this with the so 5 kN per meter multiplying with this length the total length comes out to be 16 meter so meter meter will be cancel we get here if you multiply this we get 80 kN so 80 kN is the now is the pointed load or we can say concentrated load acting on the beam we change or we transfer the uniformly distributed load into a pointed load how by multiplying this load with the total length of the beam So now this eta kilo newton is a pointed load and it will act at the center of the beam here exactly at the center of the beam center of the beam means from here to this one it will be acting at the center and also from here to this one it will act at the center of the beam so eta kilo newton is the pointed or concentrated load here acting at the center of the beam now in the second step you just have to divide by 2 and you will get your support reaction so ra is equal to et divided by 2 you get 40 kN similarly rb is equal to the et divided by 2 you also get 40 kN so half of the load is taken by this 40 kN and half of the load is taken by this 40 kN so this is a very simple and easy method to analyze the overhanging beam when you have a symmetrical beam it means that this overhanging portion is also same length and this will also have the same length this does not necessary to be the same length is the overhanging but this length and this length should be the same length and there is uniformly distributed load acting on the whole length of the beam then you can solve your problem in just two step in step 1 you multiply the load with the total length of the beam you get the pointed load or concentrated load and then you divide by 2 in order to get the support reaction at this point and at this point So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for delicious engineering videos thank you for watching our video